Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is a Barnes & Noble Nook tablet which is running Cyanogen Mod 7 Alpha. This is a uh, build of Cyanogen Mod. It's a custom version of Android based on the open source version of Android, and it gives you a user experience that's a lot more like what you would get from other Android phones and tablets uh, running Android 2.3 as opposed to the software that comes with the Nook tablet. Uh, recently, a group of independent developers and hackers figured out how to load software like CyanogenMod onto the Nook tablet. And once you can do that, you can also install other software such as the Mayu or Miu ROM, which is a Chinese ROM that's based on um, Android 2.3 with some pretty serious customizations. So I'm going to show you how to install that um, in just a second. But first, I want to show you uh, well, actually, if, if you uh, need to install Clockwork Mod Recovery, which is sort of the prerequisite for installing any of these ROMs. You can find the details at lilliputing.com. Uh, you can find the information in the details for this video. Um, but then uh, if you're running Cyanogen Mod or if you're running the stock Android software, first thing you need to do is reboot into Recovery. From Cyanogen Mod, easy way to do that is you fire up the ROM Manager application and say reboot into recovery. If you are running the stock Android software that came with the Nook tablet and you've rooted it and installed Clockwork Mod already, then you can use um, a couple of different utilities, including the um, uh, Clockwork Mod flashing utility, the, the same one you would use to install it to reboot into recovery. So let's go ahead and do that. And what that's going to do is shut down the device, and then you're going to see this little box package thing here for a second. And what that means is it's loading a package. And once it's loaded, we should see Clockwork Mod Recovery, which is apparently upside down right now. Uh, now we're going to use the volume buttons and the uh, Nook button in order to navigate. And the first thing you really should do at this point is scroll down to the Backup and Restore and click the Backup button. Uh, or if you want to back up not to an external SD card, but to the one that comes with the, uh, the the internal storage, you can say back up to internal SD card. I've already done that, so I'm going to skip that right now and use the power button to go back to the previous screen. And instead I'm going to say install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. Now it can't locate the SD card, and that's a problem that happens a lot with Clockwork Mod Recovery and uh, the Nook tablet, and all I'm going to do is pop out the SD card, pop it back in, and close that up again, and say choose it from SD card, and this time it found it. Uh, so I'm going to scroll down until I find the NTMayu223 zip file, select it, and then say yes, and now it should be installing it. It's going to take a couple of minutes here probably. You can see a small blue progress bar here at the bottom. Okay, so now that we're done, we're going to go back to the main menu using the power button to return, and we're going to wipe data factory reset. And this is a recommended step. It might not always be entirely essential, but it's uh, it's a good idea. And this won't delete your files stored in the uh, SD card or anything, but what it will do is erase um, settings and, and other data that's stored in the um, Android software. And once that's done, we're just going to choose the option for Reboot System. Now what's interesting is this is actually the same splash screen that we get with Cyanogen Mod. So you can tell that the software is based off of Cyanogen Mod 7 Alpha. And on first boot it might take a little bit longer than usual to, uh, to load the software. But here we go with Mayu starting to load. Okay, well that was 
actually pretty fast. So we're going to slide to unlock. We're going to choose our launcher application. So let's uh, first take a look at the built-in launcher. If it'll let us, there we go. And so one of the first things that you really notice here that makes uh, Mayu look different from other Android software is there's no app launcher per se. Instead, all of your applications are stored right here on the home screen. Uh, this particular software also has the Google Android Market and other Google applications loaded by default, so you don't have to load a separate package for them. Uh, that's something that um, Google doesn't really approve of with custom ROMs, but uh, Mayu somehow seems to get away with it, um, perhaps because it's not as widely used as some other software. Um, so again, no app launcher, just these things. In terms of settings, you can fire up settings with the settings application. You can see that we've got a different skin here from what you get with most uh, Android applications. So it's got this sort of light skin um, and orange theme. So we can adjust the volume and other things here. Home button brings up the home screen. We've got a file explorer, again, which is custom to the Mayu software, and it's not recognizing the SD card here either, so let's see if popping it out and popping it back in does the trick. Yep, so now we can browse the SD card and see how much space is available. Let's go back to the home screen. We've got uh, interesting folders here. There's a theme engine that lets you load different themes. We're not connected to the internet right now, so that's not going to work too well, but just wanted to show you that that exists. It's a custom music player. So you get the uh, entire suite of, of Mayu applications here, um, including the web browser, and people app and a phone icon, even though there's no phone capabilities. Uh, you can also use the Zeme launcher if you prefer a more sort of traditional Android-like experience, or you can install a third-party app launcher if you like. So anyways, that's a quick look at how to install the Mayu ROM and what it looks like running on the Nook tablet. Um, most features seem to work, and it's, uh, yeah, it's not my favorite ROM, to be perfectly honest. I prefer the stock uh, CyanogenMod software, but overall,